About nine years ago, a former colleague said to me, so you're still using the same handbag? And he said this without knowing my struggles. I was saving because I knew I was on a contract, just in case the contract wasn't being renewed. So I would have a little money to start up something. So when he said this, it really hit me hard because it was on the same day I was going to receive news about my contract and my contract wasn't being renewed. So I just felt like everything was going against me, even though they say what people say to you shouldn't affect you. But that day I was affected, probably because it was on that same day. So during the period I was working, I wasn't able to buy myself a handbag, but I was able to buy my mother a handbag. A colleague came with a handbag that his wife was selling. And when I saw this handbag, I said, it looks really good. I think my mom deserves this bag because she hasn't bought anything for herself in a very long time. She's been sacrificing everything for us to have a better life. So I decided to take that back to my mother and not for myself. And my mom called me some weeks ago, which is like nine years later. And she mentioned that bag to me. She was thanking me for all the things I've done. She said, when you were working, you never bought a bag for yourself, but you found me worthy of using such a bag that I really appreciate that bag. I haven't forgotten. I know all you've done for me. She was so happy and I was so happy that she thought about this because I had forgotten about this bag. But when she said this, it made me to remember what my colleagues said and how I was hurt then. I said, sometimes the appreciation will heal all the past pain, all the mockery. And also considering that today I have a lot of bags, very good bags. I can't even use all of them. I don't even have the time to transfer things from one bag to another. Bags are not a problem to me and it was never a problem to me. But he saw it as a problem. In fact, he used it to gauge my success. He used it to tell if I was financially successful or not. But one thing you need to know is that you can say you've never hurt people, but with your words, you've hurt a lot of people. With your words, you've put people into depression. You've pushed them to do things they shouldn't do. With your words, you've probably made some people take their life. So we have to be mindful of the things we say to people or the questions we ask. When you say things like, at your level, you're not driving. You don't have a car. You don't have a house. At your age, you're still on this level. At your age, you're not married. You've not been able to find a husband, you've not been able to find a wife. Or you've been married for years, you don't have a child. You know, words like this actually hit people, but you have no idea they do. And you go around feeling innocent, but you're not. So, knowing that your words can break or heal, choose wisely what you say.